Have you ever spent a good amount of time creating the perfect Confluence page only to be hit with the sudden realization that there's so much manual work that you need to do to make sure that you tag the right people, that the right people are seeing the page, heck, that people can even find your page. This can be super frustrating when you're using Confluence. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at workflows for Confluence. And I'm gonna show you how you can manage your documents inside of Confluence so much better because there is a way to automate a lot of these time-consuming activities that unless you've ever used an app like this, you might just not even know that they exist. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you drop a like on this video and go to that link in the description below so that you can start your free trial to Workflows for Confluence by Appbox. Let's go take a look inside of Confluence and let me show you how easy it is to take these time consuming tasks and automate them with something as genius as this Workflows for Confluence. Let's jump in. All right, so here I am inside of Confluence, and the first thing I'm going to do before I show you how to use Workflows for Confluence is we're going to do a couple of configurations, and I'm just going to walk you through a couple of basics. Now, you do need to be a Confluence admin. You're going to click on the little gear on the right corner. Then on the left-hand side, you want to look for Workflows for Confluence. If you don't see it, check the link in the description so you can start your trial, get it installed, and then come back. All right, so here we are, assuming you've installed it, we have Workflows for Confluence. There's a couple of things that I want you to be aware of. Number one, if you're completely new, they have a little tutorial in their introduction. So go through these steps here. It's just gonna walk you through and give you some awareness of what Workflows for Confluence does. So definitely start here if you're brand new. Now, assuming you're ready to roll up your sleeves and you're ready to start working here, the next place we wanna go to is Workflows over here on the left. Now. Once you're in Workflows, you're going to see that there's a couple of out-of-the-box workflows, and we're going to be using these in the demonstration today. And as you can see, there's a basic workflow that's a two-step workflow with no approvals, a simple workflow with an approval step, which we're going to be taking a look at today. And there's just a couple of other ones where we can have content that expires. We can have the restriction of pages during the approval process. And we also have a two-stage approval. So as you can see, quite a few approval use cases, but we're going to be taking a look at these first and second workflows first. Now, even though these are out of the box, even though these work as designed, with the one for approvals, one of the things you may want to do at the beginning is also set up your approvers. And so you can do that by simply clicking on the three dots over here, the ellipses. You can click on that. We're going to edit. And when you get to the step where you're actually going to do the approval, which is right here, you can click on that status, come over here to approval, and then you can select your approvers. So you can predetermine who those approvers are. You can add people. You can do whatever you want here, change all these items here. But this is one step that you're going to want to make sure you do before your team goes out and starts making approval workflows because it's going to save you some headaches there. Now, Again, there's a lot of out-of-the-box stuff here that's just going to work. We can take a look at the basic one just for fun, just to see what it's doing. And basically, this is just going to give us statuses of our pages. We're going to know when a page is in progress, when it's done. We're going to be able to do things with them, right? And while I'm here, let me kind of introduce you to the next step, which was how do you make your own workflow, right? And so there's a couple of different ways. We can either manipulate one of these existing ones, or you can click on this Create button up here, which is just basically going to give you a blank canvas. But let's just focus with one of the existing ones that we have here. I always like to make a copy just so that I always have the original one. And we're going to start working out of our copy. And so just to kind of show you some of the stuff that's available, we have some triggers here. We have the start. We have some logic. We can look at page statuses so we can create new statuses. We can add approval states. Um, we can uh, basically create an official version if we wanted to. But we also have a lot of actions. We can set a page restriction. We can send out an email. We can add comments. We can do labels, right? Add watchers, modify the title. I'm not even going to drag the rest on because there's just so much. But as you can see, heck, even sending a Slack message is all possible here. And so there's a lot of really cool things that you can do and basically create the ultimate workflow. Now, this is where you want to read through AppFox's documentation and also be a little creative, right? because you are going to have a specific business problem that is annoying, right? You're going to have some frustrations. You're going to have some, some challenges that you're always having to manually do. And now that you can kind of see some of the actions that you can take with Workflows for Confluence, 
then you're going to be able to start having those, oh, I can automate this or I can automate that. I can make uh, comments over here. I can set page restrictions based on specific words, right? So there's, the possibilities are really endless as far as what you can do here. So definitely experiment with this. And when you're done, save on your workflow and it's going to be all great to, for you, right? So all you got to do is just like drag and drop. It's very easy, just a very simple UI that just allows you to drag and drop as appropriate and then you can just kind of do what you got to do and you can set a chain of events here that can just trickle down, right? Just like this. And you just build the workflow that makes sense for you, right? But in order for me to show you how all this works, we're just going to go back to the basics, right? We're going to take this simple approval workflow and I'm going to show you a typical use case that I would personally go through if I was in this type of situation, all right? So to do that, we're going to go back into Confluence all right, so now we're back in Confluence and I'm just going to author a brand new page. So I'm going to click on the create button up here and this is going to be, yes, Confluence. I know how to use you. So we're going to go, uh, this is our trip to Disneyland and this is going to be an agenda, right? Agenda for our trip. Uh, we are going to collect pins because this is something that I just started doing recently, collecting Disneyland pins. And we're also going to eat a lot of good food. Now, this does get very expensive if you go to Disneyland or to any of the Disney uh, parks. It's pretty expensive and they have a lot of options, right? And so before we do this, right, before I, I go down this endeavor, I want to make sure my wife approves. And luckily for me, my wife is inside of um, my space here. So I'm going to click on publish here because I just made a brand new page, just brand new, right? Nothing special. This is something we're used to doing all the time in Confluence, but zoom in here, right? We're going to zoom in and we're going to take a look at this new button, this new part of the UI that is now available to us because we have workflows for Confluence installed. And we're going to click on this apply workflow. And this is where we're going to be able to select one of the workflows that are defined in that configurations page we took a look at just a few moments ago. So I'm going to click apply workflow and you can click on the one that you made, right? Remember you customized your own or you can pick from any of the out of the box ones. I'm just going to pick this simple approval workflow one and that's it. So just select it and that's it. So wait for it to load and now magical things are going to happen because we've already created the page. You are going to see that we're in progress and whenever we're ready, right? Whenever I'm ready for this page to be approved, Right? I could maybe do a couple more edits, add some pictures, add an itinerary. I have an image of what I want to buy. So maybe I want to take a snapshot, put it in there, Right, create the document that I want to create. But once I'm ready, once I'm ready for it to go through the workflow, you just simply click back over here. And depending on what workflow you selected, what's the next step in the chain, the UI is going to basically show you what's next. So in my particular case, I am in a transition to an approval. And so it's going to go and based on the logic that I put in that workflow, it's going to fire off all these events. And in this particular case, we are waiting for an approval and my approver is now going to get a notification. They're going to go and they're going to understand what is expected of them. They're going to know that they need to basically approve something and they're going to go do their thing. Okay. And so now the, the responsibility is now on that approver again in this particular case. But whatever workflow you pick, that's kind of what happens. But once they approve, I'm going to actually switch to a different page that I've already pre-approved. Once they approve, you will see that they're approved here. You will, you can click on that. You're going to see that it's approved. You can see uh, more information here to get a little bit more uh, context as to what happened. And you can see that um, my wife approved here, the date that she approved and the statuses of everything. So you get a lot of good situational awareness of what's going on with your particular page, a lot of metadata, a lot of cool stuff that again, just in a normal Confluence experience, yeah, you have a little bit of version control, but there's not much beyond that. It's too basic. And this workflows for Confluence really allows you to take your processes that you normally would do with like a sheet of paper and kind of digitalize it, right? Make, bring that experience into Confluence. You can do a handoff where people keep the baton going. You can add a lot of steps. Maybe you have a review step that you want to add. Maybe you have a draft and then a peer review and then a code review. Maybe you got designers that you want to make sure designers have a step. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this and you're really limited to just your imagination. So I highly encourage you, you go down to that link in the video description and try out 
workflows for Confluence. There's a lot of different apps out there, but this is one of my favorite ones. It's super easy to use. And I highly recommend that if you're considering doing some sort of a document review process or just a workflow process that you're looking for within Confluence that you definitely give uh, AppBox a look and try them out. I guarantee you it's gonna be a really cool experience. So that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe because we're gonna be coming back because as I mentioned just a few moments ago, Workflows for Confluence isn't the only app out there and we're gonna be doing a little head to head against Kamala, which is one of the other apps that are in the marketplace that do something very similar. So we're gonna be going head to head to see which one's better for you, which one's better for your budget, features and all that great stuff. So we're gonna be taking a really cool close look at both of these tools in action. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, go start your free trial. Maybe you wanna follow along and maybe you wanna compare them as well. So use that link down in the description down below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.